T. Gray and MK, you are now cleared for flight school takeoff. Four, three, two, one, zero. Hello, everybody out there around the world in I Boomerang. Boom! I get to sit here and talk to you all today. I got my coffee here with the I Boomerang cup. I got my I Boomerang fresh bottle of water. I'm sitting up here with these two great gym. I tell you, I love something I love right now is I love Saturday mornings. <laughs> and the reason why I love Saturday mornings, oh, I got to look at this. Yes. And not this. <laughs> yes. Okay, good. Well, I love Saturday mornings because I work out every Saturday morning on my abs, folks. <laughs> Listening to the BPs here, Bart Kit Cart, listening to T Gray, I'm laughing all the time, no matter where I am around the world. It is incredible. And I know y'all are laughing too. You get an ab workout. I'm telling you, they really are helping me. You guys are really helping me, really get in shape. <laughs> so, but excited to be here uh, and to be the guest, uh, guest presenter here this morning. Uh, just excited to, to, to share with you all here. But uh, first of all, I got to, you know, just say it's an honor. It's a privilege uh, to actually be on the line here. I know there have been some great folks that have been on this, this line here or on this channel here uh, sharing uh, really how to go out and make this happen for yourself. So this can be a legacy income for you and your families like none other than our phenomenal CEO, uh, Mr. Houghton Bugs, who's out there, who's who's champion of the cause right now all over the world doing what he does and then of course we got the incredible gma uh mr edwin haynes they're out there together packing out events internationally all over so i can tell you what if they come to anywhere close to you i mean i love that story t Gray. 1600 miles that's a winner right there folks that's somebody that's earning their phd a person heading to diamond when you can make that commitment to go to an event like that more than 1,600 miles away from home, that means you want it big. But anytime you've got our leaders like that around the country or around the world, get there by any means necessary. Why? Because success is yours right now. You got to go out and get it. Don't wait for success to come your way. You got to go out and get it. So here it is. We've got other champions that have been on this line. Of course, we got, you know, I, I mean, Tommy, Tommy uh, Johnson said it best last week. We've got the best VPs in the world. These gentlemen have built their own businesses before in the past, have made millions of dollars in the past, and they are sitting here every Saturday morning, number one, giving you all the goods, but then in the background, you guys don't get the chance to see what, what they're doing. I mean, I'm sitting here in front of the green screen. Every week, we got some new updates to this multi, multi-billion dollar company. So far, I've been excited about that. Great job to you guys. Really appreciate you for doing what you do. We got to get them a big hashtag boom. Everybody send out your chats, send out your hashtag boom, send out the love, send out the likes because they don't get enough. I mean, we recognize them, of course, but they don't get enough recognition for really what it is that they're building for us, what they're building for our families, what they're building for our kids, what they're building for our grandkids. This is incredible, folks. So big, huge hashtag to them. And of course, all the other diamonds, that have been on this line. You've got Lori Spears rocked the call last week. We got our new diamond brother, Tommy Johnson, rocked the call last week. We've had folks on here like Daniel Camaro, okay, on the line here, packed it out, did a great job. Sam Bean, okay, packed it out, did a great job. You had Spencer Iverson on here. I mean, it just keeps going on and on and on. So that's why I said it's an honor and a privilege for me to be here. And I know there's plenty of other folks coming. Cesar Munoz was on here. I'm sure we've had Blue Diamond, Cesar Munoz on here. I've seen him, but we also have Blue Diamond, uh, uh, Peter Hirsch on here. Uh, I mean, it's, we just got a whole all-star cast right now of diamonds and elite diamonds that uh, can get out here and build this business and show you uh, really what it takes right now. So one of the things I wanted to share with you all today is really how to build your business, okay? How to really go out and build your business through recruiting and uh, you know, one of the things that, I mean, I've gotten some, some information here that I've written down. Uh, yes, we're supposed to give out boomerangs. Um, and you want to get, definitely give out boomerangs, lots and lots of boomerangs, lots and lots of boomerangs. But you know what? You give those out as fast as possible, but I love recruiting. I've been involved in this industry now for 24 
plus years, almost 25 years in February. And I hang my hat on recruiting folks. And I believe that recruiting to me is like, it's like art. Okay. It's like art. You can't really see it once you're painting it, but once you finish it, it's like a masterpiece. So if you focus on recruiting and have a mindset of recruiting first and then have a mindset to build, have a builder's philosophy, so to speak, second, you'll be a true champion. You'll be the next diamond here uh, in I Boomerang. But there's some things that I want you to understand. Recruiting is a mindset, okay? Number one, recruiting is a mindset. Recruiting, get this, it's an all the time thing. Never take your pulse off of recruiting. Never take your pulse off of recruiting. Recruiting is an all the time thing. You've got to have, like I said earlier, the philosophies of building and the philosophy and the mindsets of recruiting. And one thing that I've learned is you've got to keep them coming and going. you got to keep recruits coming and going, coming and moving along. And you'll hear us talk about uh, the three R's, okay, and how to move people along without touching them. You'll hear about that. You'll hear the training like that on this webinar here, you know, uh, coming soon. And to me, the recruiting is like uh, oil in the engine, okay, of a car. That car won't run if you don't have any oil in it. And the more you change that oil and the more you keep fresh oil in there, guess what? That car runs phenomenally. So just imagine the more you keep new recruits coming in and keep them going, guess what? It's, it's the oil that keeps the engine flowing through your business. So never, ever take your hands or your pulse off recruiting. And always remember this. I'm going to give you a secret. Recruit, 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 and never get it out of order. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So here's what I want to share with you today. Here's how I sum it all up, okay? I hope you're getting your people on right now. Oh, well, they're coming Listen, on. folks, here's what you do. There's... there's okay. You're, you're over two, you're over 2,500 at this point. Woo. I love it. I yep. love it. Here's what I want you to understand folks. Recruiting is like playing baseball. Fellas, if you ever played baseball before, it's just like that. Ladies, if you ever played softball before, guess what? It's just like playing softball. I'm going to give it to you today. Okay. Here's what I want you to understand. I had a chance to watch a little bit of the, uh, a little bit of the, uh, AL, the ALS. Okay. I think it's what's called ALS. LSCS. LSCS. Okay, the ALS. Right, the championship series, right? And, yeah, and of course, yeah, Houston. The Yankees are going to win. No, Houston's going to win. I'm sorry to tell you that. Sorry to disappoint you. That was a setup. That was a setup. They're going to come back home and win. I mean, oh, the Yankees going to beat them, the Houston Astros at home. No, 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 no. no. Sorry. Sorry to tell you. Sorry to disappoint you. I'm staying out of this. <laughs> <laughs> but think about it if you look at baseball ladies and gentlemen it's exactly the same all you got to do is score all you got to do is get on the bases and guess what whoever scores the most is going to win that game whoever wins that game is going to the granddaddy finale of them all which is what the world series championship well guess what we're doing exactly the same thing ladies and gentlemen all you're trying to do is score get a new recruit score get a new recruit score get a new recruit and guess what? If you keep doing that and your team keeps doing that, what happens is you win the game, you win the ALS championship, and then you go to your very own World Series championship. And that World Series championship for us is where? March or February, March 2020. Guess what? That's Accelerate, right? That's our championship. That's what we get to recognize you as you, you being a champion. You've been a world-class winner. So here it is, understand the process. There's a process in recruiting. Write that down in your notes. There is a process in recruiting. So when you look at the process, ladies and gentlemen, everybody wants to hit a home run. Everybody wants to recruit a Holton Bugs. Everybody wants to recruit, you know, Edwin Haynes. But guess what? You don't have to. Yeah, you want to, but guess what? What if you never get there? That doesn't mean you can't win. So here it is. It's just like getting base hits. See, if you keep running the bases, ladies and gentlemen, base hit after base hit after base hit after base hit, guess what? It scores a winning run. So that's what you have to really look at, how to get the base hits. That's why I said it's a process. So when you talk about how to get a base hit, ladies and gentlemen, what I want to share with you is this. Swing the bat and keep swinging the bat and keep swinging the bat. Do you recognize in baseball, ladies and gentlemen, if you actually swing the bat and you average 33%, 
of getting on base. You know what? You'll earn 10 to $100 million. How many of y'all would love to earn that kind of money? Woohoo! Right? Woo! Think about that. But get this. If you, only, if you only got on the base 33% of the time, that means you struck out 70 plus percent of the time. But you still have become a champion. You still have become a multimillionaire. Think about that. Seven out of 10 times you failed, but you still won. So I want you to think about that. What if you failed seven out of 10 times in your recruiting process, which I don't think you will with this great company we have. People love travel. They love the Vibe Ride concept. They love the Boom Mobile. But what if you still fail seven out of 10 times? You still would become a diamond in this company because I can tell you all of the diamonds in this company are recruiting phenomenons. They have a recruiter's mindset and you have to do the same thing. It's all about duplication, but you still will earn over a million dollars in this company. Might not be right now, might be 18 months from now, but guess what? Might be two years from now, might be three years from now, but guess what? You're still, no matter what, when you get there, you're still, what, are winning and you still are earning millions. So let me explain it to you like this. Let's get back to the recruiting process. This is how you do it. Here it is. When you look at this thing, most people, ladies and gentlemen, most people are, when you look at this, they're, you know, are saying, wait a minute, I recruited this person or I tried to recruit this person and they didn't get in. Well, yeah, that probably happened, but because you may not have really understood the process of recruiting. So let me explain it to you like this. I'm gonna draw this out. What if you had a baseball diamond and you had a baseball diamond that looked something like this, okay? Draw this out, hopefully I can get it on the screen here. Looks just like this, a baseball diamond. Can you see that? Oh, I don't know if they can see that, right? But hold it a little closer. Hold it a little closer, right? That's what the baseball diamond looks like. And I'll add to it, okay? I'll <laughs> add to it. So here it is. We got, look, we got, we got home plate here. We got first base here. We got second base here. We got third base here. Looks just like that. There we go. I can see it. So here it is, you want to take your pool of contacts. Let's say you got a list of 100 that we have in our five-step system. So you want to take your contacts and you want to now understand that the pitcher's mound is the sorter. The pitcher's mound is the sorter. So here it is, what you want to do is take a person from home plate to first base. And the way you do that is called peaking their interest peaking their interest. So you got to get good at a philosophy that I've learned called peak and pass. Peak and pass. Peak and pass. Our job is to stay third party, not first party. See, if you go third party, you will explode your business. But if you go first party, you'll implode your business. So take the emphasis off of you. Why? Because your prospects don't want to know about you. They want to know about how simple this opportunity is. And if you understand the process, all you're trying to do is run the bases and get them on first base. How do you get them on first base? Peaking is exposing. He or she who exposes the most people is going to make the most money. So get them to first base. If you can't get a home run, that's fine. Just get them to first base. It's all about base hits. What's first base? Well, first base, ladies and gentlemen, are the tools that we get to use for, first, for stand third party. What's a tool in this case? A tool in this case, if you got business cards, great. It's a low bonding tool, but guess what? It's a tool. So you got your business cards, or you can use the phrase that pays. The phrase that pays, knowing what you know about Uber, if you could have invested in it or to been the first one to take advantage of it five to 10 years ago, do you think that would have been a smart decision for your family? Everybody's gonna say yes. You gotta say that, yeah. Yeah, knowing what you know about Uber, if you could have invested in Uber five or 10 years ago and been the first one to do it, do you think that would have been a smart decision for you and your family? They're gonna say yes. I love asking questions that I already know the answer to. So guess what, ladies and gentlemen, ask that question. It's a peaking phrase. It's a tool to get them on first base. They say yes, they great. You know what? I think I might have the next Uber in Houston, Texas. And guess what? I'm just gonna send you a link that kind of shares some things with you because I really couldn't do it a good justice. I'll send you a link. That link, ladies and gentlemen, is a tool. It's the I Decide presentation. 
So you use the I decide presentation. You send that link to them. Guess what? Let it do what it do. Let's do let it do what it do. You're on first base. Another tool could be our, our corporate website. Okay. Our corporate website, your website is beautiful. Show it to people. That's a third party tool. You've got our Facebook page. You've got our Instagram page. You've got our YouTube page. You got peaking tools that are there. But that's only one tool. See, what I've learned, ladies and gentlemen, is this. When you look at this opportunity, sometimes people don't do what you and I did. They don't buy the first time. See, what happens is you and I, we all got involved in this opportunity when we first saw it. At least I did, because it just made sense, right? So we are just different. Hashtag, we are different. We joined the first time we saw it. But sometimes people need another exposure. So here it is, what I've learned in the process of recruiting, because remember, recruiting is a process, recruiting is a mindset. Sometimes people need a third to fourth to maybe even a fifth exposure before they make an emotional buying decision. Because people buy on emotions, they don't buy on logic. See, logically, it makes sense for you and I to join. It makes perfect sense to join Ivy Boomerang, right? Who wouldn't? But maybe your prospect wouldn't. So here it is. You got to get them emotionally attached. I guess I'll share this with you guys here. You know what? Uh, <laughs> I'll just go ahead and say this. Most people don't know this. But here it is. If you ever bought a car, if you ever bought a car and you went to the dealership, did you just go in there and buy the car? No. They want you to get in there and test drive it. Second exposure. They want you to get in there and feel the leather. They want you to smell the leather. Why? Because they know if you can get emotionally attached, you're gonna buy that car. So T Gray, Mark, I've been actually car shopping. I'm in a big old truck out there, a Ford 150 right now. That's not me, okay? For no, no, no disrespect to those that like trucks. But I'm driving a rental car now. Matter of fact, I paid off my Mercedes-Benz S550 with my first check, and I've been right. That's a good story. That's a good story. I'm giving it to you now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's a good story. But the bad story is my car just flooded out on me in the flood that we had here. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay it's okay we got some money we've been car shopping so <laughs> but it's the same process i've been going to different car lots this past week and you know we're waiting on this they're putting me in the car and i know exactly what they're doing they're getting me exposed they're getting me emotionally attached you got to do the same thing with your recruits you got to do the same thing with your recruits so you got them on first base folks now what do we do we take them to what? The next base. So how do we take them to the next base? It's called edifying an expert. Edifying an expert. That's moving them from first base to second base. Once you get them on second base, you want to do a three-way phone call with the expert. But here's the deal. You heard Mr. T. Gray last week. Set it up. How to edify. So you have to set up with your third-party expert. You know, let them know where you got your new recruit. He's on first base. He's just got an eye to side or he's watched the, you know, he's seen the website. Let them know. Can you do a three-way phone call with me? I'll have him on the line here in the next five, 10 minutes, next 30 minutes, whatever. Set it up in advance because your, ex -line, your upline expert is probably very busy helping people all over the world. So be respectful to that upline. They're going to help you move that person from the next exposure. And remember, everybody needs three to five exposures sometimes to get themselves involved. So here it is, know the points of edification. Always call your prospect by their first name. Always call your, your expert by Mr. or Mrs. Now you all can jaw jack and all that stuff personally together and call each other by first name basis or maybe even nicknames. But when we're doing business, you always wanna be respectful and edify that person. Put them up here, let that light shine bright on them because if you shine the light brighter on somebody else, the light is gonna shine brighter on you. Okay, I'm gonna let that sink in for a second. So when you look at that edification, use those points, Mr. or Mrs. He or she knows all of the facts about this industry. He or she is well documented in success. He or she loves to have fun. He or she loves to make money. He or she loves helping other people. He or she's very, very busy helping people all over the world, but let me see if I can reach them for just a moment of their time. And at that point, guess what? Person says, okay, great. I love to talk with them. Wonderful. You get a three-way call. 
you introduce them by the first name basis, you introduce your expert by their by Mr. or Mrs., right? And you zip it. Don't say a word. Why? Because you're trying to get them emotionally attached and you're trying to take it off of you, first party, and you're trying to put it on your third party expert, your third party credibility. So that's the third party expert doing the job for you and listen because one day you're going to be what that expert god gave us two ears one mouth so we can listen twice as much as we speak so when you look at that ladies and gentlemen what you'll see is now guess what you got them running the bases and remember i said this is a sorter so now you got somebody on second base now you should be getting somebody on first base so you always want to have your prospects running the bases and multiple people running the bases See, here it is. You got to be a professional sorter, not a professional hoarder, okay? Don't sit on your prospects. Don't sit on your prospects. Get them running the bases. Let them make the decisions for themselves, not you. Don't prejudge, okay? Run the bases with them. So now you got them on second base. Now the whole goal, ladies and gentlemen, is to get them from second base to third base. If you haven't hit a home run yet, it's okay. Just get base hits. Second base to third base now. Remember, second base to third base. So now what you want to do is promote and invite. To get them to the next base from second to third, promote and invite. Promote and invite. Promote and invite. Promote and invite. And matter of fact, if you already know what events you have that are coming up, guess what? Let your upline expert know, hey, listen, I've got a good party coming up on Sunday at 3 o'clock. Can you invite them to my good party? So here it is, you've got to know the events that you have coming up. And events, ladies and gentlemen, I love events because it's higher bonding, higher impact events. And guess what? When people come to our events, whether they're good parties, let me give you the events, good parties, boom bashes, right? BOMs, business opportunity meetings, all right? One-on-ones, right? Two-on-ones, those are all great. And then if you really want to get to some high impact events, the next training, Dream Weekend coming up. Hint, hint, clue, clue. Get your prospects there after you've exposed them. Next one after that, Accelerate. It's our championship, right? And then the last one is, guess what? Vision. Vision is coming up again next year, in the next year. So you want to make sure you are understanding how to promote those events. How to promote those events. And sometimes you're going to be promoting multiple events. Sometimes you have to walk and chew bubblegum at the same time. So you have to promote multiple events, right? But you're just trying to get them emotionally attached. And why do you want to get them to events? Because that sometimes is where they'll get emotionally attached if that wasn't the first time you just invited them there. People come out to weekly meetings not for information. They come out for confirmation, right? So here it is. You got to make sure that you've already got them on different bases before they come out. Sometimes, guess what? You might hit a home run. That might be the first place you invite them, and they might join. It's rare sometimes, though, right? Sometimes they need another exposure. Sometimes they need three to five exposures. So when you look at that, ladies and gentlemen, what happens is this. What happens is this. They actually become mostly attached because, number one, they saw how everybody in the market was winning with this opportunity outside of just you. Sometimes they saw a story from the front of the room. So now they resonate with that story. They resonate from that girl because they're female or that guy from, you know, whatever, different backgrounds, different dynamics, different, you know, uh, 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 titles or whatever. So now they can relate, right? And now they make that decision now because they're on that third base. And if they don't make the decision there, guess what? Now you just cast the vision. You share the prim, you share the company, you share, you know, your vision on where you're about to go with your team. And guess what? Now that gets them to home plate and boom, you just scored. You just scored a winning run. So now all you simply have to do now is just repeat that process over and over again personally and then start to teach your, your new business partners how the recruiting process works. Base hit after base hit after base hit, home run. Base hit after base hit after base hit, home run. And before you know it, imagine this. You and your team got people running the bases. This is why I said is the recruiting is like art to me. I know the masterpiece I'm building. I know where I got this person. I know what base I got that person. I know what base I got this person. And now I'm just scoring a touchdown. So it's almost like or a base hit. And now I'm just scoring and guess what? I'm playing a violin because I know how people think. So you got to understand, sometimes you have to slow down. 
in order to speed up. You have to slow down in order to speed up. So I wanted to just share that with you. Uh, hopefully, you know, uh, you know, this resonated on some people's hearts out there. Uh, but I'm fired up. I mean, I, oh, I, I forgot to say, I got to go out and recruit now because one thing I didn't tell you, a recruit can solve any problem that you have. <laughs> I don't care if your dog is sick. I don't care if, you know, you have issues with your kids at home. I don't care if your neighbor's getting on your nerve. I don't care, you know, it, 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 you know if you're having problems at work. Well, guess what? You got to recruit for real. If you got problems at work, you got problems with coworkers, get out there and recruit because a recruit, there's not one problem that a new recruit can't solve. Recruit, 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 and don't get it out of order. Boom, everybody.